Let's look for some Pokemon signs. So there's one in each level. Uh, and now we have the Dash Engine, which makes these levels even shorter to play through. Because uh, now we can move twice as fast uh, to skip through the parts that we don't need to see, basically. Uh, it, so yeah, for hints, it shows you what you're looking at, uh, or what you're looking for, uh, the shapes to find. Um, so let's revisit the levels. So we haven't been to the beach in a while. Now that we have apples, we can lure this Pikachu all the way over to the surfboard and surf in Pikachu. And hey, right behind it, there's the rocks in the shape of a Kingler. And also we just scoot on over with the dash engine. And with the Pester Ball, we can get the Snorlax to wake up just long enough to get a picture of it. Uh, we are not done with that Snorlax, though. Knock the Meowth over with the Pester Ball. And he won't like it, and he will meow right in your face. Uh, throw <laughs> another thing to do with Pester Balls. You throw them enough into this... Uh, level uh, into this uh, little patch of grass and a scyther will pop out throw an apple at the the pink ball and it will turn into a chancy Or reveal itself to be a chancy I should I should say Throw a pester ball at the Kangaskhan to make it turn around and roar at you And once you have taken a picture, once you've gotten a picture of one Pokemon sign, um, he gives you the Poke Flute. The Poke Flute has three different tunes. And check this out, the Snorlax dances differently to each one. This is the cutest thing. I think the second one is my favorite. Man, he is down to boogie. That is a dancing fool Pokemon. Another neat thing about the Poke Flute is that if you play it around any Pikachu, they start whatever thunderbolting or whatever that's meant to be. Uh, just getting the Pikachus on that stump, which you do if you scare out the Scyther, just that is worth a lot of points, and getting the Pikachu to Thunderbolt is worth even more. And if you get Pikachu to Thunderbolt right here, right next to the egg... Zapdos. He goes over, he shocks the thing, and you'll notice... Once we go into the next room, that the the screens are automatically on without you needing to bother the Electabuzz, and uh, the Pokemon sign is visible on the wall. Isn't that neat? The next Pokemon sign is pretty easy to find. You just go, you throw a couple Pester Balls into this very first lava pit, and the smoke comes out as a coughing face. throw pester balls into these lava pits and no smoke comes out, but oh, the Growlithe does. For best points, take a picture of Wally shaking the embers off of him. And this is completely by random, but sometimes you can get an Arcanine to pop out as well. That one is a lot more random though. The next Pokemon sign and Pokemon to photograph uh, in the river, play the Poke Flute, the Vile Poom will dance, and it will not be sending up its, f its, you know, fumes. And you'll be able to take a picture of the Cubone statue. Oh, and here's a better shot of Speed Pikachu. This is a little bit better. I, th I think I got a decent grade on, on that picture anyway. Going back to the cave, with the Dash Engine, it becomes a lot easier to catch up to the coughing that are chasing the Jigglypuff faster, and if you can knock the first two coughings out in time, you will 
be just barely in range uh, enough to be able to hit the last coughing. And that is how you unlock uh, the Jigglypuff trio at the end of the level. Meanwhile, back in the room where you saved the Jigglypuff, look over this way at the shiny sparklies. Uh, take a picture of it, because why not? But when, when you get the film developed, it looks like a Mewtwo for some reason. Uh, not sure why, but there is a hint to that if you look in the Pokemon Signs section of the, the report. Um, you'll see. And I finally got Zubat to drop the Pikachu! And it's Balloon Pikachu. Or Flying, flying Pikachu? Balloon, balloon Pikachu. Um, so that just alone is worth a lot of points. Play the Poke Flute. And the Jinx will wake up and start dancing. And the Articuno will hatch. And all of that stuff is also worth a lot of points, but if you do both of those things, the Articuno and the Pikachu, at once, and also don't uh, don't hit the dash engine like I am right here, uh, wait for it, wait for it, at the end of the level, look back, and the Pikachu is riding the Articuno, how cool is that? And it's a pretty terrific point bonus, if you can get a picture of the Pikachu, not, you know, where the reticle is on the Pikachu, not the Articuno. I mean, that picture is also worth points, but, you know, the big bonus is getting the picture of the flying Pikachu. Play the Poke Flute right here, and the Gravelers will start dancing, and they also dance a little bit differently to each tune, uh, just like the Snorlax. This is also a, uh, a special bonus picture.